Hello folks and welcome to Great Riverlands. This is a map made by Core TG. 216.07 megabytes to download. And luckily, for once recently, there are no required mods. So yeah, it goes as following. Welcome to Green Riverlands. This is a beautiful fictional river map where you can do many things like farming and forestry. The map features 16 cell points, production chains, over 40 fields, couple of forestry areas, trees are made by Pixel Farms and Oscar8599, a town where you can mow people's lawns, full traffic of people walking in the town, in the winter you can plow snow in the roads, 100 collectibles and they are easy to find, a simple farm with base game placeables. So I hope you enjoy and good luck finding the collectibles. So this is a interesting map. We'll Go over the details in the PDA in a sec, but first of all, I just want to go over this is a beautiful map, simple, but also at the same time, you can do so much with the map. You can do again farming and forestry. This is a great map for all. So, yeah, let's go over slot counts and your starting equipment. So, you start off with a fair bit, and on all three modes, as it is. Slot count is 1026. If you remove all the equipment you see here and on farm manager, start from scratch, so that removes all the sheds, the silos, and everything else. Slot count goes down to 850. But yeah, so in terms with starting equipment, small tractors, you've got the Zeta Forterra HSX 140. You've got two medium John D 7810. In terms of the large tractors, you've got the Azar T410. Also, you got the John Deere T560 Combine Harvester with the 625X header and the tra trailer for it. Do you own a pickup that's in town? We'll look at that in a sec. Got a trailer. The Rudolph TDK 301RA. Got the Lemkin Carrot Cultivator. The Ponder Terrasan C6F Drill. Little front mower, forge wagon, and that is it. So, yeah, basic sheds and that, basic silo, all of it is base game as mentioned. So, you've got your Zeta over there hooked up with a mower and a forge wagon. Got your seat trigger over here, like so. Got a doghouse. And yeah, the collectibles are these. So, these are the toys familiar with Elm Creek. So, yeah. Just go and click those. 100 of those to find. So yeah, what do you start off with on new farm? You start off with plot 1, so that is your main farmyard. And little field, field 45. And there are 47 fields. In terms with what is purchasable, most is purchasable with the exception of the vehicle shop, the BGA and some of it, the green mills and that. So, the green mill can't purchase the power pant, can't purchase the junkyards. But yeah, I see there are a few forestries and a few fairly rectangular square sized fields. So, these are for the most part very worker friendly. Minor angles here and there, but overall, not too bad with workers friendly. And in terms of prices, like the fields themselves, they are very reasonable. I mean, extremely reasonable. 63 grand, go down to like 20 grand. Also, you can purchase like plots of land for, yeah, about just under a quarter of a mil. And even the forestry areas are all divided up into little sectors. So, yeah, if you want to do forestry, for example, 37. You can get well over 50 grand if you cut into 7 or 8 meter logs. And yeah, you just purchase around the areas, clear the forestry, and just rapidly expand the main farm area. So that's in the town. And then we'll go from there because, yeah, if we head down here. There's no really like unique placeables or anything. You also got chickens here. Got 30 chickens to start off with. But yeah, there's no mod stuff in that. 
with the exception of production. So, got your base game productions here. And if we head over, there are ones made by the map maker. And these are, again, very similar. Same names and all that. The difference is in the speed. So, they range from 50% to double the production rate. So, in terms with recipes. Not in terms with cycles per month or anything like that. In terms with the recipes. So, for example, so let's me get a green mill down. So, uh, green mill and that. So... Okay, so I may have picked a bad choice, but also we'll go over the other productions, but yeah, for example, got four collectibles there, got four over here, and yep, yeah, as mentioned, got like five, no, six over here. But yeah, I actually go into a proper production chain, so yeah, it's not all productions, but for the most part, it is your main ones. So, for example, spinnery, got your dairy, oil and that, dairy, cereals, carpentry, and your bakery. So, let's get a bakery. So, that's the mod bakery. And let's place down a base game bakery. So, go into our productions tab. So, yeah, it's not quite double, but that's the modded one. And that's your base game one, so 2 to 2, 5. So that's 10 to 5. No, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12 to 5. Compared to 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 to 8. So, again, it's not quite double, but it's almost double. That's why I say between 50 and 100%. Because I think it was something like the spinnery I looked at, which was 50%. And one other look at that, which was double the production rate. So, that is that. And yeah, got your little field over here. But now, let's head into the town and start touring the map. So, here we are in one of the areas you can purchase where your pickup is on new farmer mode. So, we are just here by the grocer mart. Got your workshop up across. So, I think what we'll do is we'll head down here. Head into the little town area over here, head into our other production area, so then we'll loop back, go up here, and then we'll fall down and go south. But yeah, so the overall, it is a good map. Yep, it's not the most detailed, but at the end of the day, it is very simple, but it's done right, so... Got your workshop over there. Ooh. Alright, <laughs> didn't realise that, so minor little fix is going to be needed here, so yeah, let's go back into our pickup. So yeah, if you want to go to your vehicle store, I'd rather go via the menu. Over here, you got your workshop tab, and this is also going to be your spawn point and reset point for new equipment and reset the vehicles. But anyway, so back into the pickup. Again, can't purchase this area. No gates or anything that to deal with. So yeah, where the grocery mart is. We'll have a little look. Around over here. So this is going to be one of your main cell points. And yeah, in terms with cell points, there are a few to talk about. So go into your prices. So you got your deer land. So that is the train. Grey meal. And then also... Something called the Train Storage Bay, which sells your products at a premium rate. So, the Train Store Bay is just down here. And also, you can see, got your locomotive. And yeah, so you got your grain mill down here, as we mentioned. Got your power plant, that's going to be your wood sensation and wood chips. Junkyard for your stones. BGA and all that, so I'll go and purchase that in a bit. Got no railway silo. And then, yeah, got your deer land cell points. And going up here, sewer factory, oil mill, carpentry, spittery, your dairy, your bakery. 
So yeah, it's all spread out your productions and that. Got well, gas station, iron dealership, and bell cell station. So yeah, actually, if you go sell at the trade storage bay, sell for a very good price. So yeah, we we'll head up here. And yeah, we'll head down here. Yeah, there are contracts on the map. Decent paying contracts and that. Again, not the most profitable. It's not overpriced, but also it's not underpriced. So yeah, got your bakery over here. We'll open the map up so you can focus and see where we are. I think we're going the wrong way on the road snaps, but regardless. Yeah, actually, this is very nice. Again, it's well done that the level of details and that. It just makes you feel at home and gives that immersive effect. It is extremely immersive indeed. And I guarantee you with how the collectibles are placed, they are most likely around all your like cell stations and productions. So I should contest that now, so you've got your seal factory in that and your spinner in that, so hand up for some quick collectibles. Nothing by spinnery. Nothing by the carpentry. Anywho, so yeah, we head up to your other productions. But yeah, there's some very good trees in that over here. And actually, what are they? Oaks or yeah, American elms, sorry. So yeah, they're going to be very worthy pricing when it comes to selling them. Yeah, obviously kind of like American elm trees and oak trees are very annoying. But overall, it's actually too bad, so... Let's have a look around for your other collectibles. Nothing to see over here. Again, I may be able to shoot in, I'm not actually looking for... But yeah, so back on the road. So yeah, you've got your farm to the right there. But yeah, we'll head up and then we'll head over to the gas station. So we're just going across from where we were. Just so down there, but oh well. But yeah, just your gas station's just down here, so obviously this is gonna be where you fit up in that. So yeah, your typical American style in a way gas station or petrol station. Whatever you prefer to call it. Decent bits of woodlands and I actually want to have a look at these trees and that. So these are your spruce trees, so these are the ones you probably want to log, log in at. Sh spruce and pine, they are extremely profitable and easy to deal with. Especially when it comes to dealing with the extremities, all the twigs and that. Anyways, back on the road again. And yeah. A vast amount of forestry. So yeah, again, the map does tier to all kind of player types and that, so there's no oh it's a forestry map, screw it, I'm not gonna like it, or it's just farming and that, which don't see many people complain about it being farming. Really it comes to I see complaints. It's when it comes to forestry and production chain, so got your AMD ship over there. Bell Association is just around the corner. But yeah. Oh, Christ, yeah. And obviously we're for login as well. Not many people are a fan of login. Me personally, I'm a fan of login. There's plenty of mods to do it manually with tree harvesters and that, tree forders and that, so the world is your oyster, so back onto the main road. I'm going to take a left here, and this is very British looking actually, I think it's more of a British vibe, so yeah, these are, these are like the bollards and that you'll see in Britain here. And the fact that we're driving on the right indicates America, so again, it's a fictional map, it's not based on one area in that. 
But yeah, it's just little bits here and there, all twigged together and that, which I do love in that. Again, just little details. Not, it's not me being nitpicky, it's just pointing out some things. And yeah, got your illustrious river. Not too bad. How deep is it? Well, very deep as it is. Good to see the bottom. But yeah, not too bad. So yeah, we've done the north half of the map. And now we'll look onto the main strip and that. In terms with your railways and that. And the train storage bay. But again, as well, like, looking at the fields. Very decent sizes. From scratch and that. By all means, crack on. Actually, make sure to turn right back there to get to the train silos and that, but... Okay, we can cut across here and that. Was not really paying attention to the map there. But yeah, in terms with Croc Hound as well, forgot to mention, it is the base game and that. No custom crop types and that. Yeah, again, I forgot to mention that at the start, so I will quickly mention it now, so... Obviously, that's one of the contracts I just randomly accepted. But yeah, let's head down here, and we'll hop across the tracks to the train yards. So there we go, over the tracks. And we'll come out and go left when we leave the train silo, so... Here we are, so you've got your train sensation over here. Your premium price train store mate is over here. And if we have a look at our sell prices, so I think it's pretty much most products, so with the exception of your seeds. But again, you can sell the seeds at Deer Dan's on the train, that's good to see. But yeah, for example that just double the price. Milk sell train storage bay in that. TMR Bell Station wood chips, Deerlands power plant and train storage bay, and even silage now as well. So, if I'm doing silage on here, I know where I'm sending it to. Logs in that carpentry and power plant. Gas station is buying so. 1,250 for a thousand years. Sounds about typical. Here, so yeah, that is actually very good to see. And does this have the train silo? Can't remember. Don't think so. No, train silo is going to be down here. So we'll look at that in a bit. But yeah, let's head out and then we we'll head to the left, loop down, and then we'll go back onto the main road. Once again, more collectible. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So best rescue these. So they do get run over by the train. But yeah, so it is easy to find all the collectibles on this map. So. I'm sure someone will do a video on it, but anyway, so yeah, I think we'll head down and we'll go to the bottom part of the town. I think they will loop our way around back up to the railway side out to end the map tour. Again, it's not the most again high detailed in that. There's no crazy productions like mines and that. But again, it's sort of a quaint map it is very diverse in terms of what you can do it's not really many things you can do but yeah so the green mill obviously the hat who's collectibles already this is where you're going to be selling your grain and from as far as I can gather there's no way of like purchasing the grain mill so it's all like, it's like a local cooperative well you sell your grains and all that and other crops but yeah, just having a look around. No trigger snap, but again, there's a space game, green mill if you wish. 
And if you want something to explore for your farm, again, there's mods and that. Like the farm production pack or your production pack by Miss Umatona. And even other mods that are not hurt by Miss Umatona that you can use. So yeah, next we head down to the biomass heating plant. Basically this is going to be where you sell your logs and your timber. And your wood chips, logs and timber are the same thing as envoy. But yeah, wood chips goes into here. And your log station is just over here. So, open the help menu. As you can see, sell wood. There we go. And just going across, this is where you got your debris crusher and that. So again, more collectibles over there. Rock crusher over here. But yeah, again, it's just like the little details and that just makes the map all together, makes it very cohesive. Again, doesn't break that immersion. Nothing, nothing that sort of like sticks out thinking, ah, that sticks out like a sore fucking thumb. Maybe with the exception of the, uh, what was it, the vehicle shop and that, but apart from that one little thing so far, haven't come across anything else, did a bit of testing on the map and that, you know, cruise around. Just in terms with any issues and that. But yeah, overall, it is a cracking map. And the map I do recommend. So we'll cut across here. And this is where your BG and that's going to be. Cost one and a half mil because it's your, like, your one megawatt biogas plant. So go and purchase that. Again, more collectibles. So. If you're sort of cashing that, want a quick mill, just peruse around and you'll find your collectibles. One and a half mill, and just looking at everything, nothing sticks out like a sore of thumb in terms of being overpowered and that. All makes methane, electricity, and digestate. And you get a profit an hour, obviously, from the electricity and methane. But yeah, so we'll head out of the BGA and then we'll head up to the railway silo. Where that's gonna be Sam look, yeah, pretty much the map tour being done, so cross the road and through the forest and again Yeah, sort of quickly checking that. Yep, yeah, spruces and that, so and actually personally this is gonna be a reminder to myself. Yeah, 22 grand in that. Now, apologies here for stopping. I'm just thinking about another Let's Play I may be doing soon, and that, or a new season of Vintage Survival, something like that. But, anyways, back onto the map tour. This is going to be your one and only railway side, though. So, you've got your inputs here, your outputs here. So, that is very similar to Obey Rune. We'll hope better on that, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, input and outputs is here. And this is going to be your rental train, I'm sure. A thousand an hour, so not too badly priced. And yeah, any more collectibles than that? <laughs> uh, not sure on that, but... Yeah, so that is the map tour. And yeah, we'll get the train here a sec and have a quick look at the tracks before wrapping things up. So there we go, got the train here and yeah, overall, an awesome cracking map and that, highly recommended. And yeah, I know reviews on Mod Hub, it says 3.5 or whatever out of 5. And to be fair on that, I'll say it's at least a solid 4 out of 5. Really, it's a simple map, beautifully done. Love the landscaping, love the level of details and that. And yeah, really, there's not much else you can really ask and walk for in a simple map and that. I don't know, to be honest, yeah, there's not really much else to be said. But yeah, awesome cracking map by Carl TGS. Or Carl TG, sorry, not Carl TGS, but. Anyway, so I think that's where we're going to wrap up for today 
Hope you find this map review helpful and informative in some way, shape, or form. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you're nice day. But for now, it's me from Envoy Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.